Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's review the general terms that we've seen so far, the general definitions. Let's summarize everything and let's show the numerical example for that. Again, we're starting with the same concept that we had a thousand subjects, 40 of them with the condition, which is 4% of them. We have a test with a sensitivity of 98% and a specificity of 95%, which indicates that there's a 2% probability of false negatives and a 5% probability of false positives. We've also kept the same table format here, indicating on the vertical columns that this is the true conditions. We have 40% that actually have the condition, 960 that are healthy. And on the horizontal lines, we have the positive tests and the negative tests. The true positives, the true negatives, the false positives, and the false negatives add up to the total number of positives and the total number of negatives. Now, definition of the terms. First of all, here's a new term, the prevalence of disease. What that means is it's a ratio of the total number with the disease divided by the total number of subjects tested. 40 have the disease, 1,000 tested. That means there's a 4% ratio. That is what we call the prevalence of the disease. How prevalent is it? How many people are there in the sample that we're testing that actually have the condition we're testing for? The second one here is sensitivity. Of course, we already see that there's some relationship here with the quality of the test, but it's strictly defined by the ratio of the true positives divided by the true positives added to the false negatives. Now, the denominator, what does that signify? Well, the true positives are over here and the false negatives are over here. When we add those together, we get the total number with the condition we're testing for. So basically, the sensitivity is the true positives divided by the total that have the condition. The number of true positives, 39.2. The total with condition, 40. That ratio, 98%, is what we call the sensitivity. And that's the numerical definition. The specificity is the ratio of the true negatives, which is right here, divided by the true negatives plus the false positives. That's these two combined. So when we divide the true negatives by the total number that are healthy, that ratio is called the specificity of the test. The PPV, the positive predicted value, is the ratio of the true positives divided by the total number that are positive. Well, the true positive are just those that have the disease and actually test positive. But the total number of positives on the test is the sum of the ones that are truly positive that test positive plus the ones that are negative but test positive. These are the false positives. When we add those together, we get the total number that tested positive, the ratio of the number that, te that tested positive that actually have the disease, divided by the total number that tested positive, that ratio, about 45%, is the probability that if you test positive, you have the disease. That's called the positive predicted value. The negative predicted value is the ratio of the true negatives divided by the total negatives. The true negatives, the 912 here, are those that actually are negative and test negative. The total number of negatives also include the ones that are positive but actually test negative. These are called false negatives. So the two combined, 912.8, is the total number that tests negative. Here you can see that that ratio is almost equal to 1. That's a good thing because if you indeed test negative, you want to have a high probability that you are negative. And so in this case, 99.91% of the, of the probability that you're negative, if you test negative, that's a pretty good number. And finally, we have the definition that if you, the probability that if you test positive, you do have the condition, you do have the disease you're testing for. That's also, by the way, the definition of the PPV, the positive predicted value. And it's defined by the probability that if you have the disease, you'll test positive. Well, that's 98% probability multiplied times the probability that you have the disease. 40 out of 1,000, that's 4%. We divide that by the same quantity plus the probability that if you're healthy, you test positive. Those are the false positives times the probability that you're healthy. Well, 95% of the population is healthy. Ooh. Is it 95%? No, it is 96%. I got that one wrong, so let's make that 96%. So here we go. So if, you, if you're healthy and, and then you test positive, well, those are the false positives. That's 5% right here. And we multiply that times the probability that you're healthy. 
906 out of 1,000, which is 96%. 96% multiplied times 5%, that end up being the same ratio as 39.2 divided by 87.2, which gives us the 44.95%. So in other words, the number that we get from doing this is the same as the number we get from calculating the positive predicted value. And so that will be equal to the probability that if you test positive, you actually have the disease or the condition you're testing for. And so those are the basic definitions with some numerical examples of the various terms you should be familiar with when you're working with Bayes' theorem and applied to these kind of medical tests. And that's how it's done.